Hi everyone! So what we have here is the new grid marker design that I've been announcing for a couple of months now. And uh, to be honest, uh, these parts have been sitting in my workshop for weeks and I just couldn't have the time to get back to it, to assemble and try everything out. And I must say, I've just uh, assembled this and I'm really satisfied with how it works. So we're going to be opening the orders very soon and I want you to have a look at this uh, video to see how it really works so you know what you are buying, so you know what you are paying for. So this is the third version of the grid marker that I've been making and why the redesign? So the first version was a bit too fiddly for the user, for the farmer to get into these bolts, they were too close and you had to use a, a key, so it all made a really fiddly job of reassembling these plates. As you know, this is a variable grid marker design, so that means that you can uh, rearrange those inner plates in any pattern that you need on your beds. So uh, the first design was a little bit too fiddly, the second one was working okay, it had some sort of quick release uh, screws that were holding this in place, but those were too fiddly for me uh, to, to manufacture. So there was a lot of 3D printing involved and uh, a lot of manual operations of pre-assembling. So it just didn't work out for me. So what I think we have here is a final solution. It's a hybrid between the first two designs and I think it works really nicely. So just keep in mind that these parts are not galvanized yet. They're going to be galvanized. That means they're going to be finished with thin coating of zinc and they're going to be rust proof like these so like all my tools get galvanized at the end so the width of the spool is 60 centimeters and it's made for 75 centimeter beds so you have a little bit of clearance on each side of seven and a half centimeters uh, this is uh, most commonly used bed dimension in market gardening but also I'm going to be making custom size spools for those of you who, who need custom thing built. So the, the width of the spool is 60 and we have four horizontal bars. I call those horizontal bars that leave a line every 20 centimeters on your bed. So this length here is 20 centimeters. So what's variable about this grid marker is these inner plates that, that can be arranged in patterns that uh, market gardeners commonly use. So right now it's arranged as a 12 centimeter spacing. So it's 12, 12, etc. We can arrange it in 15 centimeters, 20, 30. Those are the combinations, the patterns that are most commonly used. So in case you need different spacing, for example, we want to have uh, a line every 30 centimeters. My plan is to build this exact same thing but only with three horizontal bars and they are going to be spaced 30. So actually in future we're going to have two types of variable grid markers. So let's have a look what it takes to disassemble this pattern, this configuration and reassemble it in some other spacing. So right now it's 12 let's say we need a longitudinal line every 20 centimeters. So I'm going to just disassemble everything and assemble it again so that you can see how, how it works. In the new design I made that these screws can be reached with a cordless drill and I would really recommend that you use one with a bit for M6 nuts. Uh, it, it's just going to be much faster. You can use a key also but uh, I like to use the cordless drill whenever I can because it's just much faster. So let's disassemble it. So I would really recommend that you do this on a table, maybe if you're in the garden 
and doing it on the floor on the ground would not be such a great idea because there would be a lot of leaning in the bent over position so if you have a table nearby that would be a really good option So let's say we want a spacing of 20, it's here. So because of the li this little flange we're going to use the next hole to the right. So it's going to go like this. And I recommend if you're right handed you first take the screw and put it in and then just put it inside. And you can notice that one of those holes has a thread and the other one doesn't. Each segment is connected to the other one and so in the end it forms sort of like a, you know, the serpent that bites its own tail. I really I like that idea. So we take the screw in. And I recommend you don't tighten everything down just yet, but in the end we can go around and tighten everything. Don't worry about those parts slipping off. You're going to catch them with a screw at the end. Now we just go around and tighten oh, in direction. We just tighten those screws. And you don't have to over tighten them. There's no vibration here or some kind of force that will pull them out e really easily. So just tighten lightly. I I've done this already. So make sure you save those parts somewhere safe where you won't lose them and I like to keep the screws like this screwed in partly so I know where they are so I don't lose them so that's it if you like this design you can place an order at my website and let's keep in touch